Hi friends, it's Peepo here, but you should already know that. Today we are going to be playing a game called Fay Fever, as you can clearly see, which is going to be a point and click puzzle game where we play as a journalist new to the town of Glenrock, who is here to solve the mystery of a missing brother and sister. To help me tell this story and do some of the voices that I can't do, we have Husbando. Hello. As the guest for today's episode. So thank you, Husbando, for your help. I'm going to stop talking. Let's get into the story. Joe, an old source reached out to me. He told me about a friend who went back to her childhood home in Scotland to look for her missing brother. But now she's gone missing, too. I understand that you're itching for... You hold a fake phone up to your ear, goddammit. Thank you. I understand that you're itching for a story, but I don't want you to do anything rash. I know how hard these past few months have been on you. Can we talk about this face to face? Well, no, because I'm already in Scotland, bitch. What? Alice, you should have talked to me first. Don't worry about me. This won't be like last time. The source has no reason to trick me. I'm not making the same mistake again. Alice, I swear to God, You'll be the death of me. Well, nothing I can do about it now, I guess. Please just keep me posted about your progress. I will. I think I might be onto something big. I can feel it. I hope you're right. Click. Okay, so here we are. Let us begin clicking on things. I wish I could afford some good whiskey. But I'll have to make do with this. It's better than nothing, at least. Ooh. There's a Bible in here. Organized religion always kind of gave me the creeps, so that won't be of any use to me. Aside from some lint and a spider web in the corner, this drawer is empty. Girl, you're spilling your cheap whiskey all over the floor. The bed? Not the nicest bed, but I feel like I got what I paid for. I won't be staying here for long anyway. There, there. Oh, that's a damn shame. No use crying over spilled whiskey, though. No use packing up my stuff. I'll only be in town for a few days at the most. Okay, anything else? I guess we could check our bag, which is empty. And our journal, ooh man, okay. Missing siblings, Isabel and Alistair McLaughlin. Source says Alistair went back to childhood home Glenrock, Scotland, after the death of mother, reportedly got there on the 10th. Isabel lost contact with him after a few days, got worried, bought a one-way plane ticket home, arrived in Glenrock on the 17th. The 20th was the last time the source heard from her. No one is investigating. What happened? To-do list. So sober. No drinking? Drink less. Pack, just a little whiskey because packing is boring. Go to Glenrock. Write an amazing story that will make everyone forget that whole business with the Minister of Defense and hopefully get me my job back. Also drink less. Okay, so we're an alcoholic journalist. Great. To do, explore the town, talk to the mayor. Here are the siblings, Alistair and Isabel. 24 years old, grocery store clerk, probably not that well off, lives in Glasgow, not on any social media. Some sort of statement or just kind of a loner? And then the sister, well off, New York City isn't cheap. 27 years old, literary agent, lives in New York, hardworking, ambitious, sociable, bad relationship with family. I can relate. All right, I don't know if we're gonna be quizzed on anything about the, the siblings, so it's always good to read, hello, what's this? I think I know something you might be interested in. Come see me by the cabin in the woods. Don't trust the mayor. Smiley face. Well, that's creepy, but it might be a lead that I should follow up on. I'll put this in my journal for now. Find who slid that note under my door. Anyway, I don't know if knowing information on the, the siblings will help us later when talking to people, so I'll do my best to remember what I can. It's a bit early to drink. I'll come back later to drink my brains out. Hopefully in celebration of a new story, but that's not a requirement. Alright. Why do 
does the sign say that it's open, but the lights are off and no one seems to be in? Is that sort of thing common in small towns like this? Pigeons? Uh, City Hall? Oh! Hello. That sounds really lovely. It's a shame I don't have any cash on me, and I'm guessing he wouldn't appreciate being offered whiskey instead. Let's go in City Hall. Yeah? yeah. City Hall? Oh! It's the mayor! Excuse me, you're the mayor, Fiona McKenzie, aren't you? Who's asking? Hi, my name's Alice Taylor. I'm a journalist or a friend of Isabel's. Mm -hmm. Our first choice. Mm, do we lie? She might know. Look at her. That scarred eye. She can see right through us. She she'll know. She'll smell the lie. She'll smell it. She'll, she'll smell it. And she'll then she'll know. be really pissed. A journalist. With the London Herald. A journalist. What brings you here? <laughs> Journalism? <laughs> Duh. Do you know Isabel and Alistair McLaughlin? Yeah, but I don't know them very well. They moved away many years ago. I was close with their mother, though. Are you aware that they both came back here recently? Actually, it was only Alistair. He came back to handle their mother's estate. According to my source, Alistair came back to Glenrock and seems to have gone missing shortly thereafter. Isabel got worried and came here looking for him. That was two weeks ago, and no one's heard from her since. So you're saying they're both missing? It seems that way. I take it you don't know anything about this then? No, this is news to me. I got a strange note. Anyone who might know more? On second thought, never mind. Don't trust the mayor, that note says. But how do we know we can trust who wrote the note? Okay, but like, don't show the mayor. I probably won't tell her about the note. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anyone who might know more? If someone knew anything, it's probably Sean. He was friends with Isabel and Alistair when they were young. You could find him in the ice cream shop. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure you're busy, so I won't take up any more of your time. Goodbye, Miss Taylor. All right. Well, not terribly friendly. She looks like a big She's a busy, yeah, she's a busy lady. That's understandable. She doesn't have time to be friendly. Is this the ice cream shop? No? What kind of shop is it? City Square? Sean? Oh, Sean's. Oh. Sean's, yeah. That would have, okay. Duh. Welcome. What can I do for you today? Hi, are you Sean? Hi, that's me, and you are. Okay, I know that we're in Scotland, so everyone probably has a Scottish accent, but we can't do Scottish accents no. without being... Do you intend to leave us standing on the doorstep all day with the ranch? It ain't gonna be good. We can't do Scottish accents, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're not that talented. Alice Taylor, I'm... Oh... I would tell him you're a friend. A friend? Yeah. Okay. But, but he's a friend. Oh, yeah, he's going to grill her. But I read the article thingy. Yeah. Let's try. Did, Let's did, try. Yeah, Let's try. Yeah. A friend of Isabel McLaughlin's? Because we're from New York, too. I Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We're from somewhere. Yeah. Really? Isabel, how do you know her? We met at a business convention a few years back. You're in publishing, too? Yeah, that's right. Well, what brings you here? I'm really worried. I haven't heard from her in two weeks. The mayor said you know her and her brother. I hoped you might know something. I'm not sure if you know, but Alistair has gone missing too. Isabel came back home to look for him. Yeah, I'm aware. So did you get a chance to talk to Isabel when she came here? She came by the shop about two weeks ago. It was pretty strange. She was acting erratic, paranoid almost. Ranting about fairy tale nonsense. Then she went on her way and I never saw her again. I was starting to get worried, but hoped she'd just gone back home without saying goodbye. Sorry, no, she didn't. I'm looking into their disappearances. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Oh, not at all. Go ahead. 
The lie worked. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what exactly did Isabel say? What's Alistair like? Where's the McLaughlin's house? Well, ask what Isabel said. I want to know mm -hmm. what fairy tale nonsense. You said she was acting weird and talked about fairy tales. Weird how? What exactly did she say? Don't know. She was twitchy and jumped every time the ice cream machine beeped. Constantly looking over her shoulder like someone was following her. She talked about some weird story we'd heard when we were small. What story? Oh, you know. Those kinds of fairy tales parents tell their bairns to keep from misbehaving. She was hung up on this old legend we heard about when we were all young. Something we like to tell each other around the campfire. Okay, okay, but what is it? Tell me! According to this legend, Jesus. the woods around town are supposedly magical and inhabited by fairies who roam around abducting people to their homeland. Mm, really? Isn't Isabel a bit too old to still believe in fairies? I said pretty much the same thing. In a fash, I told her. The fae aren't real. You know that, Izzy. But she just got mad and stormed out the door. Okay, something in our journal. Uh. Whoa, no, shoot. I missed it. I asked what Alistair was like, I think. Yeah. She didn't She didn't talk about him much, I think I said. Uh, okay, okay. She didn't? Well, I shouldn't be surprised. They didn't really keep in touch after Isabel moved away. Hmm. Why not? What you need to understand is that Alistair was a pretty quiet kid, to himself, but a surprisingly good judge of character for his age. Hmm. He never had many friends, but the few he had, he was fiercely protective of, and Isabel was his best friend. He was pretty hurt when she moved away. Hmm. Oh. Their relationship with their mother wasn't very good. They never really talked much about it, but I remember her being rather strict and cold with them. When Isabel moved, Alistair felt that she had abandoned him, leaving him alone with their mother. He begged her to put off university until he too could move away, but, well, he couldn't wait to get out of Glenrock. Hmm. All right, last question. Where's the McLaughlin's house? I'd like to go take a look at the McLaughlin's house. Could you tell me where it is? Sure. Go to the residential street. Their house is the last one on the left, number 27. Thank you. I'll check it out. The McLaughlins always keep a spare key under the pot at the front door. Mm. Thank you for everything. It's really nice to have a friendly face around. Ah, don't mention it. Please come back if you find out anything about them. Thank you so much for your time, Sean. You've been very helpful. Of course. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. What a nice, nice lad. My goodness. Okay. Find a way to get into the house. Look for clues. There's our little note. All right, uh, house hunting we go. Can I have that? <laughs> What's this, free ice cream? That's from the Glenrock Herald. There's a coupon for one free ice cream in it every day. Really? Every day? Aye, they're only valid for that day. It's mostly children who come in with them. I want one. I can imagine. So I just need to get a hold of today's issue? Sure. You want to get a free ice cream? Good luck finding one. That still has a coupon in it, though. I see. Thanks. Yeah, I want free ice cream. Yes. <gasps> What's this? I'm not in the mood for ice cream. That's wrong. Wrong. <laughs> You're wrong for that. You're wrong, and also a liar. I don't believe you. People trust each other way too much in a small town like this. In London. Oh, we're from London. <laughs> We are just not doing any of the accents, right? In London, this bike would have been stolen in less than a day. All right. Second-hand shop. I never really understood people who buy stuff second-hand like this. It just seems wrong to me. <laughs> what? You don't thrift? That's kind of... Okay. She looks like she thrifts. Classist. Though. Yeah, I know, right? You look like that and you don't thrift? <laughs> uh, where do we... How do we get to the residential area? Maybe I need to go this way. Oh, street. street. There we go. House 27. Oh, meow meow. Holy shit, that is one big cat. What do these people feed that thing? Uh, mice? Fish? Kibbles? Oh, definitely fish. Fish. He's a fish-eating boy. Oh, there we go. House 27. 
There we go. Hey. Okay, there's the key. That was weird. How cliche to hide the key under a flower pot. The burglars here not watch movies? There has to be something in here that'll tell me what's happened to Isabel and Alistair. I'm gonna have to look around. So the gate was open, so maybe if we hadn't talked to Sean, we would have to go around the back because <laughs> we wouldn't have known about the key. Radiator's ice cold. Looks like it hasn't been turned on for quite some time. Seems like a quiet street. Come to think of it, I haven't really seen any kids around except for Angus. That's a bit strange. Angus? I didn't see an Angus. I guess I'll keep an eye out for Angus. Yeah. That's one giant oven mitt. I could easily fit my head in it. Don't do that. Oh god, the smell. Who left burned moldy food in here? Is that it? That's all we've got? Like, I don't know, girl. Maybe the people who went missing? Yeah. Oh god. Hey, lady, what are you doing? Oh shit. Uh, I was just looking at this house. I'm thinking about buying it. Nice location, and, um... I think you're lying. I'm telling my aunt. Crap, that's not great. There's still some things I wanted to check out in the house. Better hurry up and get the hell out of there. Shit, I shouldn't have gone outside. Ew, what a horrible child. Seems like someone left in a hurry, not even bothering to turn off the TV. Jeez, I haven't seen a TV this old in... I don't know how long. Books? Fairy tales from the Scottish Highlands. The Wild Hunt and Other Stories. Changeling of Edinburgh. Protection and Defense Against the Fair Folk. What a weird collection of books. Take them all. Take them all. Read them. We're gonna need them. There's some old photos of the McLaughlins here. Oh. They don't... They, they look happy, yeah. These are really unsettling for some reason. <laughs> Oh! Isabel and Mc, Mc something, February 2001. Family picture, 1996. Isabel, Alistair, and their friend Sean, June. Oh! So what? So this is a mystery. Mc something. G L. Mm -hmm. hmm. McWiggles. McWiggles, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Password. Old companion. It's the name of the stuffed animal. <sighs> oh, Mick something. Oh, shit. We gonna have to figure that one out. Mick, Mick something. Okay. Well, let's hope we can leave without getting in trouble and come back. I shouldn't have gone outside. I shouldn't have let that kid see me. God damn it. Where is the a girl woods. gonna find the woods? Oh, no. There wouldn't happen to be spare magazines out here, would there? Oh no. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should. But I don't know what else to do right now. In we go. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Stinky. Uh-oh. Stinky. I have to check this first. Oh, okay. What are you doing with my mailbox, Lassie? Oh, I just wanted to borrow your newspaper. Well, why didn't you just say so? You can't just go about digging around people's mailboxes like that. Sorry, you're right. I should have asked first. You can just take the newspaper if you want. I don't really read it anyway. Free ice cream! Yes. Thanks, I appreciate it. Free ice cream! Cheese is 50% off. Dang. This All town right. loves their dairy. Yeah. Ah, yes. You're here. Good, very good. You're the one who sent me the note? Of course I did. Who else would it be? And who are you? I had a name once, but it no longer matters. What matters is, I needed to speak with you before the townsfolk corrupted you and brought you in on their conspiracy. What conspiracy? <sighs> what conspiracy? The conspiracy lass. I dare not mention their name. The trees have ears. They're always listening. The devious fiends. 
I'm sorry. Who are you talking about? No, not here. It's not safe. I'd invite you into my cabin, but I'm afraid it's not fit for guests at the moment. Oh, that's fine. Actually, I wanted to ask you about your note. Why did you tell me not to trust the mayor? Oh, my poor ignorant child. She is on the conspiracy, of course, just like everyone else here. That's the second time you've mentioned a conspiracy. Could you please elaborate on that? Does that have anything to do with the missing siblings? Yes, yes. People go missing is the key. The townspeople are allowing them to go get abducted. Abducted by whom? Do you have proof? Because those are some pretty serious allegations. Proof? If you just open your eyes, you'll see the truth as clearly as I do. I'm sorry, sir, but if you can't give me any proof, I'm afraid I can't print any of this. If you stick around long enough, I can guarantee that you'll get your proof. Just ask McSnuggles. McSnuggles! That was it, wasn't it? Yes, McSnuggles, her favorite teddy bear. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see, Lassie. <sighs> Before I go, I just want to ask if you know Alistair and Isabel McLaughlin. They recently went missing and I'm investigating their disappearances. People go missing here all the time. I can't keep all their names straight. I barely even know what day it is. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's true. People go missing all the time? How come I've never heard anything about it until now? As I said, it's all part of the conspiracy. Which you won't tell me about. That's right. At least not yet. Well then, thank you for your cooperation. I have other leads I need to follow up on right now. Keep your wits about you, Sassanac. Don't trust anyone. Well, that was a lot, but now we know McSnuggles. Let's go hack into that missing girl's computer. All right, it's time to hack. Ho <laughs> ho! There might be something useful on this. Let's see. There appears to be some notes here. Why does she have a JPEG of Charles? <laughs> Why? Code. What are these strange symbols? Code JPEG. Code for what? Might be important. I'll jot them down in my notebook, just in case. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Charles JPEG. That's the guy I talked to in the woods. His name is Charles, then. Did he tell me that? I don't think he did. All right, here we go. My name is Isabel McLaughlin, but you probably knew that if you're on my computer. I'm sorry for using the oldest cliche in the book, but if you're reading this, I might be dead. Or worse. I came back home to look for my missing brother, Alistair. No one will believe where my search has led me. I barely even believe it myself. I thought the man in the woods was just crazy, but I've seen them myself. I know where they've taken Alistair. I need to go there and bring him home. The old man told me where to find the portal. If you're intent on following my footsteps, my first advice is to just not do it. I don't want to drag more people into this nightmare. However, if you still won't be discouraged, my second advice is this. Look for the light and find the tree. Okay, what the hell? I don't understand any of this. What did she find out, and who are they, and where did they take Alistair? So she did talk to that crazy old man in the woods. Why did he lie to me? I should confront him about this. He clearly knows more than he's letting on. Find the tree. What tree? That's valuable, and I think that's all the value we're going to get on this computer for now. Very interesting. I think I've got what I needed here. I need to go back and talk to the old man again. Really? That's our first first priority? Oh, cool. We copied down the code. We I saw this tree symbol in the background of Charles's house area. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, get on out of here. If we go out through the back, do you think that little kid will be there? Ugh. Oh, Maybe. what is that? Oh. What the? It changed. Are those vines growing out of the painting? That is seriously weird and creepy. Yeah, that was definitely not there before. Yeah, no. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go over here. I can't open it. 
might need to find another way out. Is there someone else in this house? Oh, hell no! Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, we unlocked the... Was this ladder always here? No, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't. Was it? This is really starting to freak me out. Christ, I need a drink. This door is locked too. I guess I'll have to look for a key or something to get out. I guess we're going up that ladder. <sighs> Just some old children's clothes in here. I guess someone was sentimental in keeping these around. Wow, that really brings me back. I had the exact same model of nightstand when I was young. Oh. Okay, a little puzzle, I guess. Oh, it's like playing a... What is it? Rush Hour? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Yeah. Very nice. It's Aww. McSnug. This must be McSnuggles. He looks exactly the same as he did in the picture. I can see why a little girl would like him. Dear diary, Isabel got me this diary for my birthday. She also gave me McSnuggles. I told her she can still play with him if she ever misses him. McSnuggles is the best giraffe in the world. I'm gonna take good care of him. It was a good birthday. Oh, it's so cute. He's such a good little brother. Oh. He'd like to appreciate her stuffed animal. Yeah, yeah. Dear Diary, Isabel wanted to go out and play in the woods today. We climbed trees and then I slipped and fell down. It hurt a lot. Isabel told me not to tell mother about my fall. Then she bought me ice cream. Uh huh. McSnuggles got dirty. <laughs> Isabel promised to wash him for Aww, me. Oh, that's so real, though. Like, your little brother gets hurt, and you're like, shh, 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 shh. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Here, I'll buy you an ice cream if you don't tell mom. <laughs> so real. <laughs> Dear Diary, me and Isabel went out to play in the woods again. We found a really big, weird tree with lots of horseshoes. Isabel didn't like it. She said it made her head hurt, so we left. Ooh. I didn't tell her, but I heard the tree singing. It was really pretty. I want to hear it again. Maybe I'll bring McSnuggles. I think he'd like to hear the song too. This is just like Outlander. Claire can hear the stones singing. And so when she touches them, she gets teleported through time. Oh, can I take this picture? I can. Dear Diary, I told Isabel I wanted to go back to the tree today, but she said we couldn't go. If she doesn't want to come with me tomorrow, I'll go anyway. Unless she tells Mother. Isabel is such a chicken. I'm younger than her, but I'm still braver than her. It must be because I'm a boy. <laughs> oh, it's cute, because he's what? Like, he's, he's so little. He's gotta be like five. Yeah. I mean, he wants to take his stuffed giraffe to yeah. the tree. Dear diary, school starts soon. I hate school. I wish summer would never end. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I last wrote, because I'm having so much fun with my new friends. They live in the big singing tree. I can't tell anyone about them, except for McSnuggles. They helped me put up our old swing yesterday. Then the rabbit followed me home. He sang to me when I went to... That's it? What? Well, I guess that is all that we get. A singing tree. That's odd. Maybe the old man knows something about it. Journal? Tell me, tell me something, journal. Talk to the man in the forest, find another way to get out of this house, find the tree. Okay, I keep hearing about this hawthorn tree. It seems to have been important to Alistair, so it's definitely worth checking out. I just need to find it, though I don't know how. I don't fancy aimlessly walking around the woods searching for it. There must be someone who knows something. Can we leave through the window? No. Just tuck and roll. Pull, and pull, jump out yeah, pull a Leon Kennedy. Just. I'll let myself out. <sighs> the paperclip. Oh, the paperclip. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Paperclip. 
Get us out of town. Okay, let's see if I can get this open. <gasps> oh, oh, I love lock picking. Okay. Okay, so we've got a tree with a horseshoe here, which they kind of mentioned, but I can't go any further mm -hmm. this way. I kind of want to go back around, see if we can't bribe that kid. I don't know. A rock! Oh. I have, I have a rock. I got a rock. Okay, I don't see him. I'm worried about him telling his aunt. What if his aunt is the mayor? Oh... I think I've gotten everything I can out of this interaction. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want to go talk to her anyway. <laughs> we don't have any money for him, do we? No, and I'd hate He'd to be just pissed if we gave him a ice cream voucher. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get ourselves an ice cream then. Shit. Hell yeah. I want a little treat. Little treat, please. Excuse me. Little treat. Treat. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. No way. Come on! Hey, Sean! Oh, hello there, Alice! So, I happened upon some information. It seems like Alistair used to play by this special tree out in the woods. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that. Actually, I really wanted to talk to you about something. What? The mayor came by. She said that you don't know Isabel at all. That you're actually a journalist. Fuck. <laughs> you have nothing to say for yourself? Sean, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Well, why did you? The mayor didn't seem to appreciate hearing about me being a journalist. I was afraid you might be the same and I needed to get the information from you. Yes, I lied. And I'm sorry about that. But I really do care about Alistair and Isabel. I want to find out what's happened to them. I believe you. About that, at least. Go ahead. Ask what you wanted to ask. So, about Alistair and the tree. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I do remember him playing out in the woods a lot and coming back with these crazy stories. He brought me out to the tree once, but I got the chills from that place. He wanted to stay longer, but I insisted that we should head back home. Do you remember what path you took to get there? No, I don't. He led me by the hand through the underbrush. I remember it taking a long time. It felt like we walked in circles through the forest. Alistair just sort of knew the way instinctively. I don't think you can follow a set path to get there. You've been a great help, Sean. Thank you so very much. And sorry again. I didn't do it for you. I did it for Isabel and Alistair. Just so you know, the mayor wasn't happy with you. Talked about how you were a typical journalist, sticking your nose in other people's business. Okay, I'll watch out for her. I hope you find them. Believe me, so do I. Well, it sounds like maybe the mayor doesn't want me to find them. And, and, and I am trying to help people and find the missing town members, mm -hmm. but the mayor is more more busy being angry at me for having the audacity to want to find people. Yeah. Like, you should be glad that you got someone else trying to help. For real. I don't trust her. You know what? Let's go yell at her. Let's go fight. Ooh. I'm ready to Ooh. go fight. Come here, bitch. Smack, smack her around with Come a coupon. Come here, bitch. Damn it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, so we went and visited. Should we visit the old man again? Oh, Tell yeah. him what we know? Oh, yeah. Hey. Ah, you're back! You lied to me. You told me you didn't know Isabel McLaughlin, but I know for a fact that she spoke to you. Oh no, I most certainly never lied. I don't know that name. Then again, names are tricky. There's power in them. No one should hand them out freely. Mm, now that is good advice. Just look at this photo, you old fool. Do you recognize this woman? Oh, yes, I do know her. Never told me her name, which is good, very good. She understood. Poor oh, sweet lass, looking for her lost brother. She's gone missing. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. 
So they got her after all. I told her to give up the search and stay away from that accursed tree. What tree? The Hawthorne tree! In the heart of the woods, there lies the portal to the magical fey realm of Elfheim. What are you talking about? Don't you see? The Hawthorne tree is the portal used by the fairies who were abducting the people of Glenrock. Ugh. That's... crazy. And yet you hesitate, I see. I mean... Isabel did leave some notes saying that fairies are real and they've taken her brother, but I still don't know what to believe. It's obvious, isn't it? There's some truth to all the legends. Hey, fairies. Is she? They're all one and the same, and they're all very real. I'm not saying I believe you, but hypothetically, if they are abducting people, why? No, it's too horrible to say out loud. Poor Isabel, poor Isabel's brother. According to her notes, you told Isabel how to find the tree. She wanted to go through the portal and rescue her brother. Since she's gone missing, I clearly made a mistake in telling her about it. I really need to find it. No, nothing good will come of it. I assure you, Sassanay. Please, I'm the only one who cares about finding out the truth. I'm sorry, I will not damn another poor innocent soul. <sighs> Fine. Then I'm just gonna have to find it on my own. I hope you don't find it. For your own sake, child. Just go and forget all about this, why don't you? I should update Joe. He'll want to know about this. Shit. There's no reception out here. I have to go back to town. Okay. Oh. oh. Joe, you won't believe what I'm about to tell you, but bear with me, okay? turns out that there's a possibility that fairies are bloody real. I think Alistair McLaughlin may have been abducted by them, and Isabel went through the Hawthorne tree to save him. You're not making any sense. Have you been drinking? I know it sounds crazy, but please, you have to believe me on this. You have, haven't you? You're really worrying me. Please come home. We'll get you help. Maybe you're right. Can't turn back now. Oh. There ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back now. Okay. No, I've got to see this thing through. I'm so close. I can... What do you think you're doing, Miss Taylor? Oh, shit. Shit. I'm sorry, Joe. I've got to go. You've certainly been busy, Miss Taylor. Is breaking into houses something that you journalists down south usually do, or is it just you? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. My nephew- I knew it! I knew it! My nephew Angus saw you. I'll make you a deal. If you leave right now, I won't call the police. Seriously? You're threatening me? If you want to get rid of me that badly, you must be hiding something. Don't you care about what's happened to Alistair and Isabel? Our town is not for you to make a name for yourself. You're so desperate for a comeback, you're seeing a story where there isn't one. What are you talking about? I called the London Herald. They said you haven't worked there for eight months. You wrongfully accused the Minister of Defense of some really nasty stuff. Your career is over. I still have some friends in high places. They'll make sure my story gets published. You reek of whiskey, Miss Taylor. Did you know that? What if someone were to accidentally leak to the press that you're a drunk? That would destroy the last few shreds of credibility you have left, wouldn't it? <laughs> Screw you. But none of that will ever happen if you just agree to leave quickly. Now I'm more convinced than ever that something strange is going on, and whatever it is, you're in on it. I'm gonna find out what it is, and I'm gonna expose the fuck out of you. Yeah, bitch! Yeah! Yeah! You can try, Miss Taylor, but there's nothing to expose. Now get out of here. I need to finish this quickly. I just need to find that damn Hawthorne tree, and I'll have my story. That was that was the confrontation I wanted yeah. to go yeah. make happen at City Hall. So I'm glad they let it come to me. And we stood up for ourselves right on. Oh. Oh. Well, well, I mean, is that it? Oh. 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 Oh, geez. How do we know which path? 
Sean said we just have to walk a while and it's gonna feel like we're going in circles. Let's uh let's go to the house and then we'll try fresh. Yeah. Oh, oh he's gone. Do we go in while he's not yeah. here? Maybe he's got a map. <gasps> Whoa. That's gotta be the Hawthorne tree everyone keeps talking about. I'm pretty sure that's the key to all the weirdness that's been happening here. But I'm still not sure how to reach it. Let's see what the old man's written here. Fey unions equals possibly unfruitful? Humans needed for reproduction? That is deeply disturbing. Ancestors of the mayor made a fairy deal a long time ago. Rich soil and healthy cattle in exchange for human brood mares. What the hell? If this is really true, it's bigger than any story I've written before. I have to get to the Hawthorne tree. It seems to be the key to all of this. Yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, she is human trafficking her, her citizens to the Fae? Also, Bruh. like, I read those books. <laughs> I read those books. Okay? It's not all bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, a picture of Alistair. Someone's written something in the margin. One of them. A picture of Isabel here. There's some scribbling. Collateral damage. The mayor. Something's written under her face. Ancestors made a pact with the Fae. Humans in exchange for rich soil. What the hell does that even mean? You know what it means. All right, yeah, let's see what this is about. Wait. Oh. Wait a second. When the hand looks like that, I can move things? We haven't oh, been doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Uh. Okay, well, it's too late now. Oh, shoot. Oh. The queen. The queen. <laughs> huh. Somehow I didn't take the old man for a royalist. God save the queen, I guess. Love is love. Hell yeah. The old man seems to have been a hippie. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. There's nothing behind the poster. Guess he never watched Shawshank Redemption. I think there's some mold in one of the corners. Please tell me he didn't actually sleep on that thing. A safe. Is this where that code is needed? Code? We found a code? Hold on, girl. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, the symbols? Yes. But... Where does that go? <gasps> oh no! Oh my god! What the hell is that thing? Wait a minute. Is that the old man? What happened to him? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Christ, I really wish I had some whiskey with me right now. His bunny slippers. Oh. I never noticed how cute his slippers were before. Would it be weird if I took them? Oh yes, very weird. Eh, not that weird. It's pretty weird, but I'd still want to take them. We're gonna take them, but that's weird. You know what? Everything's going to shit right now anyway. Who am I to deny myself some cute slippers? We're wearing them right now! I wonder if whoever did this to the old man also broke this lock. What were they after? Oh, look, the symbols. Yeah, so my theory about the code. How many How of them many? there are? Yeah. Okay, that's a good theory. I think you're right. He seems to have taken surprisingly good care of these flowers. Looks like he's become part of the tree. Now there's a sentence I never thought would ever cross my mind. How did this happen? It sure is a... Pretty fucked up way to go. Yeah, he's yeah. turning into an Edelwood tree. Yeah. Like an over the garden wall. Rusty old watering can. Hold on, is that blood in it? What the hell is actually going on? I have no idea. All right, well, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five. Five of those. Five, okay. Let's um count the tree ones. That, wait. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So, yeah, because it's a four digit code. Okay. Eleven, three, and five. But what's the correct order? Three, five, eleven. Three, five, one, one. 
three, five, one, one. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that might get you through the path. Yeah. Okay. Well, it won't let me do it right now. Um, hold on. Let's go back to here. We still have a rock, by the way. Yeah. Let's try going over this way. Oh, that... Oh, oh this path. Oh, oh, we didn't go back didn't there before. Yeah. I wonder if we could have investigated that before he mm. turned. It's too late now. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, let's, uh... Let's try the path. I'm gonna start with the second path. Oh my gosh! I did. <laughs> oh my god! Just listen to my heart, Pilgrim. This, this must be the tree Alistair mentioned in his diary. It's so big, towering over the rest of the forest. That song, it sounds like it's coming from the. Tr What's wrong with the lantern? Did we get... Did we get whisked away? Alice! It's good to see you. You have no idea how worried I was. I'm sorry. I was wrong. It was all a mistake. I'm... not okay. Everything is going to be alright. We'll get you help. Thank you, Joe. You've always been there for me. I hope you're planning on staying. Of course. I'm staying for good. Yes. Yes. You are. What was that? What? What on earth? I have so many questions. I feel like we... I feel like we failed. I feel like we did it yeah. as wrong as we possibly could have. We did everything wrong. We didn't use a lot of items. Maybe we could have thrown the rock at the big ass cat. And we didn't and we didn't have the voucher to give to the kid. And also if we hadn't gone outside, he never would have told the mayor. So maybe we yeah. could have kept lying to her. I don't know. And we 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 told two different stories, so we messed up there. And the lantern, I feel like we should have been able to use sooner, but I, yeah. I didn't figure out how to do that. I have so many questions. We are all out of time for today's episode. What did you think of that ending? What does that mean? Was she talking to Joe? Was she taken into the tree? Was that light in the lantern a soul? What do we think? I would love to know your theories, but for now, I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Husbando, for your vocal talents. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye! Pshew.